All right, this is Matt Gen 110. We're looking at chapter seven, um, section four, so 7.4. These are the notes. When we're adding up fractions with common denominators already, all we have to do, rewrite it all under the same roof, all with all over 10 in this case. And then uh, seven minus uh, two is five tenths. And then we reduce that. We could reduce by a factor of five, divide top by five, bottom by five. We get one half. Perfect, all right. So that was a trip down memory lane. Now let's do it with variables. Um, we have a common a minus four. This is three a minus quantity a plus eight. This is tricky. Lots of people get this wrong, be careful. The minus has to hit, basically it's a negative one times a and the negative one times eight. It's minus that whole thing. And so you do the distributive property. That's three a minus one a minus eight all over a minus four. And then we can put those together. So what does that um, give you? Two a minus eight over a minus four. Now, we can factor out a two on the top. Divide that by two, divide that by two, we get a minus four, and check it out. A minus fours cancel, we just have two over one, or just plain old two. All right, let's look at this one. We got uh, C plus five on the bottom, we got four C plus 20 on the top. We factor out a four on the top, And so then we have uh, C plus five left over C plus five. And then we can cancel the C plus fives and just end up with four. Let's do this one again. Oh, this one's a little trickier. So we have D minus one on the bottom. We have D squared minus quantity eight D minus seven. So that means we do the distributive property we get d squared minus 8d plus 7 all over d minus 1. But that, think of things that multiply to be 7 that add up to be a negative. It's got to be negative, negative. There's only one thing. And that's who did it. That multiplies to give you positive 7, but adds to give you negative 8. So we have d minus 1, d minus 7 over d minus 1. And the d minus ones cancel. So we end up with uh, just d minus 7. All right. Uh, number five on that page looks like this. C squared over C minus 6 minus 36 over C minus 6. So look, on the top we end up with C squared minus 36 over C minus 6. That factors C minus 6 plus 6 all over C minus 6. And the C minus 6 is cancel. And you're just left with C plus 6 over 1. Or a plain old just C plus 6. All right, let's look at number 7. 4 a squared b to the fourth plus 2 a 4 b 3. So unlike this one, those are not common denominators. So we have to do a little work on this one. Uh, let's break down a squared b 4 into a a b b b b b a 4 b 3 into 1, 2, 3, 4 a's, 1, 2, 3 b's. And so our LCD there, we got two A's, we got three B's, and then leftover B and two leftover A's. So we ended up with A4, B4. So A to the fourth and B to the fourth is what we want on the bottom. A to the fourth, B to the fourth, 
fourth, B to the fourth. And now we kind of work backwards on that. We're gonna look at, <laughs> what do I multiply this by to get that? That's an A squared, top and bottom. So four A squared. Uh, what do we multiply that by? That's a B, two B. And so this one looks like uh, we didn't really get, accomplish much because we have 4a squared plus 2b over a to the fourth, b to the fourth, but we can't add those. <coughs> we can't cancel anything. You could factor a 2 out if you really wanted to and write it 2 times 2a squared plus b, but there is no number to cancel it with, so you, you can just leave it like that. It's fine. All right. Let's look at uh, number eight. That's four and five T plus 10 and plus six over T plus two. So on this one, we factor out a five and we get T plus two, right? This one, it's already kind of factored. We have T plus two. So now let's go over here and find the LCD. So we have it factored. We got uh, five T plus 10 is equal to five times T plus two. And we got T plus two that already kind of is factored. Let's put it in parentheses. So the LCD, you take what they have in common, that's T plus two. And then you take the leftover, that's five. So, oh, that's a real ugly five, hold on. All right. So then that's our common denominator. So we're gonna multiply, uh, let's see, well, let's write it down twice. We want it to be this. And so this one already is five times T plus two. So I'm not gonna change anything. And if you wanna think multiply by one, you can, but it's just four on top. This one, it's missing a five. So I multiply top and bottom, both numerator and denominator by the same number. That's essentially one, 30. And so this is equal to 34 over five times quantity T plus two. And that is our answer for that one. That's uh, number eight. Let's look at uh, number nine and 10 on the same page. Uh, the footsteps you heard, a uh, little puppy, Marley, joined, uh, joined the lecture here. She's laying down and watching. She's off camera though, so you can't see her, but trust me, she's right there. All right, so let's take a look at number nine. We got y over y minus eight plus four over y. So this one, they're relatively prime. So you can, they would have nothing in common. So you take them both. So the, the LCD here, here, if we write it out, look, this is y minus eight. This is just y. There's nothing in common. So LCD, first you take what they have in common. Then you take the leftover as well. This is a leftover and this is a leftover. And so that's what we want. We want y, y minus eight. We want y, y minus eight. That's called relatively prime. That means they're prime to one another. So we multiply top and bottom here by y. We multiply top and bottom here by y minus eight. Minus 32. And then uh, we write it all under the same roof here. Y minus eight, y squared plus four y minus 32. And I think we can factor that, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to cancel anything. So think of things that multiply to be negative 32 that add up to four. So negative one and 32, negative 32 and one, negative two and 16, negative 16 and two, negative eight and four, negative four and eight. There it is. So we got uh, y minus four, y plus eight over y times y minus eight. Yeah, close but no cigar. 
those are conjugates, so I, I can't cancel them off. It just stays just like that. That's it. Nothing to do with that. Number nine. And um, number 10 is oh, much the same here. I'm going to need the board for that, so I'll erase it. So there's number nine. Here comes number 10. So number 10 looks like this, we got P minus 3, we got P squared plus 3P plus 2, plus P minus 1, P squared minus 4. So let's factor these, P squared plus 3P plus 2, multiplies to give you 2, adds to give you 3, that's got to be 2 and 1. And P squared minus 4, that's going to be P plus 2, P minus 2 difference of squares. So the LCD, first what they have in common, they both have a P plus two, and then the leftovers. This counts as a leftover, P plus one. This counts as a leftover, P minus two. So now, do yourself a favor, rewrite it. Yeah, P minus three, write it out in factored form before you jump to the LCD step. All right, we already factored it right there, so you just have to rewrite it down here. It's so much easier to see if you have it in factored form. Now, let's go after what we're, we want. We're on a vision quest to get P plus 2, P minus 2, P plus 1, P plus 2, P minus 2, P plus 1. And so... We multiply top and bottom here to get P, we're missing a P minus two. And here we're missing a P plus one. All right. So we do the distributive property. So on the top we get P squared minus 2p minus 3p plus 6. Here we get p squared uh, plus 1p minus 1p minus 1. And so then when we combine up all the like terms, whew, there's a lot here. Um, we got all of this, p plus 2, p minus 2, p plus 1 on the bottom. So that is our denominator. But then in the numerator, we got p squared plus p squared, that's 2p squared. We got negative 5, and all that actually cancels off, so we got a negative 5p. And we got a plus 6 and a minus 1, that's a plus 5. And that is it. Whew. Not that that wasn't enough, but that was pretty tough. All right. Let's get 11, write the reciprocal of the difference of a number in 4. So think, the difference of a number in 4 looks like this. They want the reciprocal of that. So it's the answer is 1 over x minus 4. All right, number 12. Write the quotient of 6 and the sum of 3 in a number. So quotient means divide, so the quotient of 6 and... The sum of 3 to number, that's 3 plus x, or x plus 3. Order doesn't matter with addition. It does matter with the difference of. So we need, difference has to be in the correct order. And then 13, let's just squeeze 13 over here. Um, that is the sum of the reciprocal of a number and the quotient of 5 and twice the number. So we have 1 over x, the sum of the reciprocal of a number. This is the reciprocal of the number, 1 over x. Sum means add, um, and the quotient of 5 and twice the number. That's 5 over 2x. So our LCD there would be, let's see, we got x is just x, 2x is 2 times x. So they both have x, and then 2 is a leftover, so it's 2x. So I need 2x on the bottom. That one already has a 2x. That one needs to multiply by 2. And so we end up with 7 over 2x. And that's it. That is the notes for 7.4.